Yes, guys, it has finally happened. Liverpool have lost. Hey, guys, it is Finn here. That is F Y W. I hope you are all having a fantastic week. Wow, what a weird match week, match week 28 was. I mean, that was bizarre. I think only one team or two teams in the top 10 of the Premier League actually won their games. We saw some insane, insane results. And, of course, this is match week 29 predictions, which, if you don't know, every match week I put out my predictions along with my fantasy team, who I think will perform this week, who I think won't perform so well well this week i do have to say this channel has been crazy with its support lately sorry i just realized how bright my light is and it is burning my face so if you guys like premier league content please do subscribe to this channel it would be insane for me i really do appreciate your guys's help and support and everything so subscribe if you like that content along with my controversial saturdays which every saturday i upload your controversial opinions and i answer them go check that out it is so much fun let's get into the first prediction for this match week first game of the week is liverpool versus bournemouth and liverpool Ooh, you've got some catching up and explaining to do i can clearly say as a manchester united fan i take so much joy i really shouldn't take so much joy but i take so much joy in you guys taking that three no l versus uh, versus Watford of all teams which is really bizarre especially because we just beat them 3-0 I mean no I mean I don't want to brag or boast but I'm just saying I'm, I'm just saying but seriously Liverpool as Jurgen Klopp said your positioning was poor uh, just in general everything about you guys was just very very poor in that game you can do a lot a lot better we know about that to think Watford was the team to beat this invincible side I mean uh, <laughs> what I really just, I have no way to explain that Sa kid was just, or Sa or whatever his name, how, how do you pronounce his name, was just so good, he was so incredible, I really don't know what to say about you guys, Bournemouth drew with Chelsea, but we just, for the record, Chelsea do not have a good record versus Bournemouth, therefore I'm not going to give Bournemouth too much credit for this one, I'm still going to give it to Liverpool, I think Liverpool's going to get a pretty comfortable 3-0 win, if you told me or if you tell me that Liverpool win the rest of their games for the Premier League season, then yeah, I totally agree with you, I think that Arsenal are very happy to keep their invincible season, do Liverpool deserve it? Yes to a degree, but you know what? It happens. This Liverpool team is still probably one of the best in the Premier League era, like of all time. So yeah, I have to give this one to Liverpool. Arsenal versus West Ham is next. Now West Ham got a weird result versus Southampton. I didn't expect them to absolutely thrash Southampton. And at the same time, Arsenal is very up and down and so inconsistent with their results. Do I think that they could get a result versus West Ham? I mean, I definitely do think they do. I think it's definitely possible. <laughs> possible? That's not a word. I definitely do think it's possible for Arsenal to beat West Ham. I think it's going to be very bizarre because now they are out of Europa League, which I mean... It's kind of funny. I do want to say that, I mean, are Arsenal going to be in Europa League next season? I don't think so. That's really weird to think about the fact that, let's be honest, Arsenal won't be in any European competitions next season. Because, I mean, I can't see them getting 7th or 6th. I think they're going to have to fight really, really hard to get that. But I do think Arsenal win 2-0 in this game. And hopefully they can get some sort of result for it out of their sec. Because otherwise their season, it's just really not looking promising at the moment is it crystal palace versus the best team in this premier league era whiteford whiteford is technically i would say the best team this decade from 2020 to 2030 because they're the only team who's managed to beat liverpool in the premier league so you know what whiteford i give you guys so much credit i do like crystal palace though but crystal palace have really started to lose games where they really shouldn't and whiteford i just i don't know what to think about you guys anymore to be a team who only won one game by the halfway point of the premier league to being the team Team to stop Liverpool I think it is so insane and I think you guys should be so proud of yourself I think that they are going to continue this momentum Watford and I think Watford can beat Crystal Palace 3-1 in this game I think they're going to be very imp uh, impressive because their attacking can look really really good and as I've said for the last three months by now I think Watford on their day their passing is incredible and maybe one of the best in the Premier League on their day Sheffield United versus Norwich. Now, Norwich, you just, oh, you're so surprised us, didn't you? I mean, always getting bad results to then beating Leicester City, which, I mean, you guys haven't lost to Leicester City this season, which is really impressive because Leicester started off the season looking like they could catch Liverpool almost to, you know, Norwich drawing against 
Leicester City then beating Leicester City. I just really don't know what to think at this point. I think both teams are so strong, but Sheffield United look like they could end up in a Champions League spot or at least compete for it, which I think is beyond their wildest dream so far this season. I think Sheffield United are going to win against Norwich. I think it's going to be a 2-1 win. It's going to be very close, but I think both teams actually show so much promise, but it is a pity that Norwich let's be honest they're going to get relegated at the end of the season but you know what they hold, held up a good fight and I think they can be very proud of what they've accomplished. Wolves versus Brighton now Wolves have gotten some incredible results they beat Spurs which is the only prediction I got right last uh, match week which that was so embarrassing to think about but you know what do I think Wolves can get a result versus do I think Wolves can get a result ver oh, who the fuck are Wolves? Do I think Wolves can get a result versus Brighton? I definitely do think so because I mean, Brighton, you guys started your season off so promising and then it just really started to plummet. I mean, you guys looked like you could do so well this season that you could get in the top 10. But at this point, I mean, uh, let's be honest, you guys watching you guys defend at the moment makes my stomach more, you know, in pain than Arsenal's defense. I do have to give credit to Wolves on this one though because I think as a total their team is looking so much stronger and I think Wolves can get a very strong 2-0 win over Brighton because Wolves can look so incredible on the counter attack. We saw that versus Spurs and Brighton really haven't shown the kind of results that they should have this season. That is why I am giving it to Wolves. Burnley versus Tottenham Hotspurs now Spurs obviously without their main men and then Burnley you know they've been in some pretty good form and they've beaten some pretty big teams so far this season last time these two teams played against each other though Spurs won like 5-0 which is an incredible result but let's be honest without Kane without Son it really is just like you know it's like one of those old cop movies just without the two main cops in it so the car it's just you know it can roll down a hill at a reasonably a fast pace but let's be honest it probably will crash and burn so if you haven't gotten anything from that summary i still think that spurs will win this but burnley are looking so strong i think spurs will surprise us but i think it will only be a 1-0 win because i think that burnley's keeper nick pope can really save them and i asked you guys in a poll last time who you thought was better pickford or pope and you guys really seem to agree that pope was a better goalkeeper then Pickford and I mean it's pretty interesting to see but I think he's so good and I think Spurs will struggle but I think Spurs will still get that 1-0 win. Chelsea versus Everton is next now Ancelotti did get a red card pulling uh, Sergio Ramos on the team when he went to go complain to the ref after the game which to be 100% honest with you I thought that was a goal for Everton versus Manchester United obviously it wasn't given as one but to me I didn't see the player touch it although he was interfering I mean De Gea is tall he could have seen the ball I think that Ancelotti was reasonable by it. I don't think the ref should have given a red card for it. So what? A team lost and it was questionable. Let the manager just get it out. But I do I think this Everton team can beat Chelsea. I do. I think Everton can beat Chelsea for the second time this season. I think they're going to pull it Oleg and Solskjaer. Stay undefeated against them this season. But I do think that Everton just are looking a bit better than Chelsea. Because Chelsea really do start to lose really weird games. I think Everton can win 2-1 against Chelsea. And if Ancelotti isn't there, I think probably Duncan Ferguson will step in once again. And he's proven that he can be a great step up as a manager as a replacement at least therefore i back everton for this one manchester united versus manchester city now a few factors going to this laporte is injured stones is horrible <laughs> same same really to be honest with you and i mean manchester united are looking very strong and if daniel james plays which hopefully you will then i think this united team could really look strong and could really do something and i don't know what it is manchester united you guys don't perform against smaller teams and you perform against huge teams this might sound weird but I'm going to back my Manchester United boys on this one my Red Devils and I'm going to say I think United with their current team with Bruno Fernandes added to the team against City with their poor defense that only won 2-1 against Villa in the cup final I am going to say I back my Red Devils Manchester United 2-1 let's hope this is possible and I don't look like an idiot Leicester City versus Villa this is the last one Villa not looking too strong yet they looked very good in the cup final their attack looked very good that's why I'm somewhat going to back them to score a goal but at the end of the day Leicester although didn't do well against Norwich I think can get a result versus Aston Villa I think it's going to be a 2-1 to Leicester City because as a whole their team is better although Aston Villa has started to pick up I'm still going to back Leicester City for that one. 
Quickly, the changes I made in my fantasy team was I got rid of Traore because he does look injured and I got Watford side, the best player in the world right now. Another change I made is I sold Dunk from Brighton because he wasn't doing too much for me and I put in Gomez from Liverpool. Yes, Liverpool had horrible defence versus Watford, but you know what, I think he's a very high calibre kind of defender that I could get and I could afford in the team, so I'm very happy with that. And at the end of the day, I just started Calvert Levin over um, Mapay in my team just because I think he can get more points. Guys, but that is my fantasy team. I hope you enjoyed my fantasy team. Tell me what you would change in the comment section down below. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed all my predictions. Please Please do share. I'm struggling on this channel at the moment. So please do share, like, subscribe, all of the stuff. Your support is really appreciated on this channel. Let's see if we can get to 350 subscribers and then eventually 400 and then eventually the world. Okay, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but maybe one day 1,000. That would be kind of nice. I hope you all enjoy your days. This has been Finn, FYWN. I do love every single one of you. Please do subscribe, follow my Insta, stay awesome. Love you. Cheers.